And uh, what about the course conditions today? What's it like up there for the guys at home? Well, it's super slippery. Next Traction's race coming at a premium. Yeah, Bumps we'll are gnarly. It's it's hard. It's grueling up there. Nice. And Colby, how was the run? Give me give me the play by play. Where's the bad corner? Where's the things gonna get messed up today? I think an easier thing's where a good corner would be at. There's there's not a ton of snow, so it's super rocky and like he said, slick. Um, the snow's leaving quick, so pretty much everywhere you're at, you uh, yeah, you kind of got to pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, I was up there earlier today, and you guys coming over the top of the hill sounded like someone dumping a load of gravel. What's that like? I mean, is it bad the whole way, or is just the top bad? Where where is it really the worst? Man, earlier this morning it wasn't too bad. Now it's getting worse and worse as the day goes on. Um, there's not a lot of snow left, and it seems like those big sagebrush just show up out of anywhere. Um, but as far as the gravel under the tunnel, that's just traction. Traction wins races. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thanks again. Keep on watching Rimshaw. All right. Clint Colbert on the hill. Looks like the blue lane's getting cleared. Next on the hill, number 141, Hadley West, Raftrum, Idaho, Anna Polaris. This is her first year racing the Rimshaw circuit. She's in the women's pro class. All right, good news for the city of Tremont in Utah. Tavern Rupp is in the lead. He had 149.60, 149.60. Clint Colbert on the hill with racer, he's racer number 54. Out of Idaho Falls, riding Articat. He'll be followed by Nate Suter and Zach Wormers. <laughs> Keith Bailey comes in with 152, 69, 152, 69. Keith Bailey with 152.69, he got her done. Gonna go right now with racer number 818, Tyler Coles, Blackfoot, Idaho. Riding Polaris, she saw by Seth Wilson. Tanner Myers, Landon Kula, I don't think is up yet. He's not here. I don't know how he qualified. Caitlin Rogers up and over the top in the blue course with a 15021, 15021 next on the course. Tyler Coles with 13351. He's your new leader. All right, well, shoot. Seth Wilson running into a little trouble. We're going to report on that, but real quick, we're going to go down trackside for a quick interview with our top two winners in 900 stop. All right, guys, I'm here with Keith and Andy. You guys took one and two on the podium on 900 stock. Tell me, uh, tell me about the first run up the course today. Yeah, so it's a wild course. Um, we're crossing yesterday's trench, and there's not a lot of snow, so it's super slippery. There's lots of um, dirt lumps and ice lumps and side hills on ice. So it's just pretty gnarly and technical. You got to have the right amount of speed, uh, charge hard when you can, and it's a, it's a technical course. It's pretty fun. 
Awesome. Andy, how's the sled running today? Sleds are ripping. Everything's working good. We've been jumping a lot of ice walls and stuff like that, so it's been fun. Nice. Well, thanks, guys, for taking some time. I know you got to get back on the course. It's been a great day, and keep on watching Rimshaw. All right, congratulations, Keith and Andy. All right, so I don't know what it was, but we talk about declarations. This is kind of a fun fact for you. If there is somebody in the course, something that you don't like about the course, you have to make a declaration to get a rewrite. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get one, but Seth Wilson did declare that there was something wrong in the course. I didn't see what it was and haven't heard what it is, but Seth Wilson will get a rerun on that. But we're going to skip down to Tanner Myers. So we are going to skip down to Tanner Myers, and we'll do a rerun for Seth Wilson, and that'll wrap up our 600 improved. We'll go to 700 after that. On the blue course now, juniors ages 14 to 18. Tragen Phelps is on the hill, number 168. Fish Haven, Idaho, Anna Polaris. He'll be followed by Keller Knox, Raiden Lutz, Winston McKee, Brody Zollinger, Mason Irwin, Braden Dickey. Unofficially on the women's pro 700 stock, Sammy McCackney in first place, second place, Taylor Meyer. Third place, Tiffany McWilliams. Fourth place, Caitlin Rogers. Hadley West will take the number five spot. Hey guys, Stephen Marlini here with Justin Thomas, taking second place home in Thousand Stock. Tell me about the course. What's going on up there? I know you guys spent a lot of time last night setting things up again. You're crossing the old tracks a couple of times. What, what's kind of the game plan here? <laughs> Just to keep it clean, uh, try to protect the snowmobiles and myself a little bit. There's a lot of rocks, frozen dirt, and buck brush up there to get caught up on. And yeah, just. Try to keep away from the danger, get through the course cleanly and fast, and hopefully take home the W. Perfect. Now, you spent a lot of time building sleds this year. I saw it on Instagram. You know, you were just doing a lot of work. And besides building the sleds, what kind of work goes into, you know, going out and practicing? What's an average week look like for you leading into race season? Uh, so, like, I work, so I usually have to work a few, at least a few days a week, get a little money built up, but then I'll... Uh, go through my sleds, make sure they're all dialed and go out, test and practice. Do usually do that for like half a day, come back to the shop. If I didn't like what I rode, I'll adjust it, do a little more tuning on it, maybe change a spring or a little bit of different clutching, then go out the next day and do that again, then usually have one or two uh, play days where we go out and just ride and try to just get some time in on the sleds. Perfect, and how's that working out for you today? Tell me about how your sleds are running. Uh, this, my Polaris uh, 850s are ripping today. Um, I was able to get second in uh, 1,000 stock, and then I felt really good in my turbo stock class. Ended up uh, finding the edge of my ability, I guess. But, yeah, going to keep pushing, and I got three more classes. Any day at Bear Lake, we'll talk to you soon.